Scum of the Earth, a young interdenominational ministry with a passionate yet respectful commitment to Jesus Christ. I come to Scum of the Earth just because I feel that it's, it's a genuine and sincere place. It's authentic. I feel like the people really mean it and they're not coming with a front, like trying to appear like they're holy, like they've got it all together, um, but just that they're, they're broken and just coming to worship God. Before there was Scum of the Earth, there was the Five Iron Frenzy Bible Study. Five Iron Frenzy is a locally grown Christian ska band that tours the United States, Europe, South Africa, and Australia. Five Iron wanted to give their fans and friends an encouraging place to grow in their relationships with Jesus Christ. I think Scum of the Earth has worship as far as music, but we also have worship as far as service. And we have small Bible studies which um, are asked to perform a, uh, a service once a month, some, some kind of outreach, and I think that that's one way that uh, young adults can be worshiping towards God. Under the supervision of the band's friend and advisor, Pastor Mike Sayers, a group of 15 met on February 2nd, 2000, to discuss the formation of a place where today's disenfranchised youth would feel comfortable worshiping Jesus. Their desire for an honest, social, caring, and nurturing environment for people of diverse backgrounds and talents who represent the changing face of Christianity is reflected in the SCUM mission statement. We strive to be a church who seeks intimacy with God and honest relationships with others, cultivates creativity and uses everyone's gifts, asks questions while seeking truth, recognizes our need for a savior, passionately yet respectfully shares the saving love of Christ and demonstrates God's love in our community. One of the things that's unique about Scum of the Earth, I think, is the relational aspect of the church. And I believe that God became a person so that he could relate to us. And that if, that if I'm doing my job as a pastor, then in some ways I'm going to be relating to them on a regular day-to-day -day basis. So I spend a lot of time um, on the phone, a lot of time meeting people for coffee, going out to eat. It's a terrible thing. I can't lose any weight. Uh, but uh, but it, it, it really is the heartbeat of, of Scum of the Earth. As for what was intended by naming this ministry Scum of the Earth, Refer to 1 Corinthians 4, 11 through 13. To this very hour we go hungry and thirsty. We are in rags. We are brutally treated. We are homeless. We work hard with our own hands. When we are cursed, we bless. When we are persecuted, we endure it. When we are slandered, we answer kindly. Up to this moment we have become the scum of the earth, the refuse of the world. We're watching them and they said, oh, come on in and sit down. They welcomed us and then they said, we're going to pray before we start and would you like to join us? So that, that was impressive and I'm thinking, well, at least they pray in this church. So they started praying and then the place started filling up and all of these kids, you know, every, every kind of kid you could think of was showing up there with purple hair and black hair and white fingernails or white hair and black fingernails and, and then some yuppie looking kids and just a little bit of the cross section of the whole community was there. And they just kept packing in and in, and I'm going, oh, this is going to be funny. And then the music started, and it was like normal worship music, except good. And Davis started singing, and I'm going, my God, these, these kids know something about Jesus that the churches I go to should learn. And that's why like, Jesus is what it's all about. It ain't about how we look, and it ain't about how we look at the other people around us. It's about how we look at Him and how he looks at us. Scripture-based sermons focus on serving God and growing in Christ daily. Worship, social interaction, monthly communion, and individual Christian guidance are among the features of Scum of the Earth's ministry. Every Sunday evening, services start with a greatly appreciated meal, voluntarily prepared by the cooking class. We try to make them feel comfortable in that sense by feeding them, but also when they worship by choosing more upbeat type of songs and um, songs that we feel that can relate to them on a personal level like 
not always just happy praise songs like giving thanks, but also songs where they're falling on their knees, they are, are broken before God, and, and they feel sinful, sinful and unforgiven. And um, we want people to understand that God can meet them wherever they are. And so I, that's a big part of our mission also, I think. <laughs> You know, people kind of being left out from different churches and different backgrounds. They came here. They're looking for something different. And if you could relate to that to the uh, to the people and just basically encourage them of what's important in in life and how we could walk this Christian life together. Weekly small group meetings serve three purposes: to create an environment for fellowship, to provide more intense and extensive Bible study, and to promote active community service. It's about converting people to Jesus, and it's about taking people that are the unlovely people and loving them, and taking the unwanted people and wanting them. It's about loving the way Jesus loves, and it's about giving the way Jesus gives, and about living the way Jesus lives. And I would like to see this video get in the hands of some of the pastors of some of these churches and tell them, hey, if you want to get involved in, in the inner city, this is the place. This is where it's happening. This is where people's lives are being changed. We're probably more a mission than a church, if I had to put us on a continuum. Eventually, I'd like to be a church. Eventually, we'd like to plant other churches that are like Scum of the Earth that would reach out to a subculture that the main church isn't quite reaching. But for now, we just kind of struggle along. I think the way the traditional church could help us out is by considering us a domestic mission and helping out financially. Please lift the Scum of the Earth ministry up in prayer. Pray for clarity concerning Scum's future. Pray for the renewing of the minds and spirits of all who attend Scum services. Pray for leaders of all ages to rise up in our midst. Pray for the Scum of the Earth children striving to make an eternal difference in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come from the